have to win tonight to keep the dream of winning a state wrestling title alive. 18 area wrestlers in the semifinal with that chance. Let's head to the State Farm Center and we'll pick up the action starting at the bottom of the 113 class. Now, Gage Reed from Oakwood Salt Fork jumps to an early lead and advances to the final with a 7 nothing decision. He'll take on Tavius Hosley of Unity who wins in a 10-7 to decision. He returns to the finals after finishing second in 106 last year. And on to 2A in 120, Carter Hall of Central gets a late escape to even the score, but he's taken down and defeated 3-1. to one. He'll try for third place on Saturday. All right, at 152, St. Thomas Moore's J.D. Sexton fights for his chance at a title, but he is pinned in the final period, so he will go to Wrestlebacks tomorrow. That seemed to be the case across the mat. Another big-time upset coming in 182, where defending state champion Micah Downs leads the match for unity, but he gets in a bad spot, and he is pinned with less than a minute to go. Not a great day for the Rockets. In 195, Cade Scott loses his by, match by a tech fall as undefeated Brandon Hosselton of Prairie Central continues his streak going into the finals. And then on to the heavyweights, Marley. Hayden Kopis of Westville GRF gets a one-point escape, and that's enough to seal the deal and secure his spot in the finals. Let's hear from him and the other winners. It's awesome. It's surreal. You know, it's what you dream of as a kid. And uh, experience taking for the second time is crazy. I just got to keep improving, and it just keeps getting better and better, but there's always room to improve, and now that we're in the state finals, I don't really care for records much more. It's all about this time is when it matters. This is the best feeling I've ever felt in my whole career of wrestling. Last year, I went from eighth and fifth, and now this year, I'm coming back to go for first to second. It's just a dream come for, to Drew for me. And the Grand March starts at 5.30 tomorrow my night. The matches get underway at 6. And it's a big wrestling weekend in Champaign. 17th ranked Illinois at home for the final time this season hosting Fresno State. As the Illini honor six seniors in the first bout, Centennial grad Justin Cardani gets the Illini into the lead. and early takedown puts him ahead before earning a four-point near fall to dominate 11-0. But in the next bout, Travis Piotrowski leads to start. But after Fresno State evens the score here and another takedown down to put Illinois up 7-0 as a team. The Illini dropped the two next bouts, but in 157, senior Eric Baroni gets them back on track. He pulls ahead late with an escape, and in the final seconds, earns a takedown to win 5-2 in his final duel at Huff Hall. Illinois wins it 23-9. Illinois basketball coach Brad Underwood getting some national recognition for orchestrating the Illini turnaround this season. Underwood named one of 15 guys to the Naismith Coach of the Year late season watch list today at 17-9. Illinois has made the third largest turnaround so far this season among schools from the major six conferences. The Illini already surpassed last year's win total by five games overall and two more Big Ten wins than from a year ago, all with five games left in the regular season. All right, let's get to our top three. I'm going with PBL number three. They win the SVC title outright. Central A&M, they win the CIC title. They are poised to make another run back to Peoria, and Neil Alexander wins his 700th game, started coaching in 1990. Marley, I was born in 1987. Do you want to know when I was born? Not really. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, my <laughs> top three. After me, after that. Uh, I also got Neil Alexander uh, for my number three. Two, we got BHRI finishing a perfect regular season. And my top one, my, well, my number one, we got wrestling. Big day for the Illini and some area wrestlers. I'm excited to see them compete in the state finals uh, tomorrow night. Should be a great time tomorrow night. Of course, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth place matches start in the afternoon at 1 o'clock. The Grand March at 530, which is one of a kind. Really cool event that yeah. that presents to the wrestlers and then the final start at six marley will have that covered for you all day tomorrow that's going to do it for us tonight thanks so much for watching for marley i'm brett good night